Hello guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you some super easy snacks slash desserts and let's just get started. So the first one you're going to get a cup of chocolate chips, some almonds and melt the chocolate chips and then you're just going to coat the almonds. This one's so easy you guys. Then you're going to get a little muffin tray like this and just put a little bit in there. This is a mini muffin tray by the way that I have. So these are pretty small but it made eight of them. And yeah, they're so good. They remind me of C's candy, the almond crunch ones. I think that's what they're called. So yeah, there is one idea for you guys. And the next one you've probably seen before. It's super easy. Um, I just got one of my kids' gogurts, and this was um, for me and my son today. And we just put that in the freezer for I think it was like 25 minutes and yeah it's super easy and good and perfect for the summer too they do melt pretty quickly though so you got to eat them up fast okay so the next one you just get some pb2 and i did two tablespoons of it and then um i just mix that up until it was creamy you know peanut butter consistency and then got a banana and cut that up and then i got one, two, three graham crackers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick, so I'm kind of out of it. And then I just spread the PB2 on it and then put some bananas on top. And I actually put these in the freezer so I can make some nice cream. And then I sprinkled it with some cinnamon, closed it up and made little sandwiches. So my favorite ice cream is Halo Tops Chocolate Almond Crunch, seriously one of my favorites and I actually had it with a Vita Top this day and this made it taste like a full on chocolate brownie and ice cream that you would get at an ice cream shop. It was so good, almost like a pizuki too in a way. Okay so for this mug cake I didn't want to use the whole egg but I ended up using it. I wanted to get rid of that yolk but... Anyways, it would have made it lesser point. So you guys could definitely do that and use different options than me. But um, this is how I made this little mug cake here. And it was really good. I actually, instead of flour, I used oat flour that I made on my own with a food processor. Put in the microwave for a minute and 15 seconds. And then I even drizzled just a little bit of melted chocolate on there. I think it was like seven chocolate chips or something and powdered sugar and strawberries and that was it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you soon bye